Hi all. In today's video, we are going to discuss analytics tab in Tableau. So Tableau provides us with an analytics tab, uh, which is just adjacent to the data tab, which you see. And in this tab, you uh, get a set of functions which can be directly applied to your graphs. You get an option, uh, you get three uh, types of analytical functions. One is the functions which summarize your data. Second, you get the various models to apply to your uh, data. And then you get some custom functions. So these custom functions of reference line, reference band and distribution band and box plot are the ones which we had discussed in the videos of reference lines. So if you have to go through these functions, you'll have to go through the reference lines video which I have made. Apart from that, uh, these two, if we discuss about this summarize uh, set of uh, analytical functions are the ones which are applied on our uh, measures and they basically find out uh, a bit of the constant line that is uh, if there is a visualization and you would like to uh, see the uh, x and y coordinate values of that line uh, of a particular point in a uh, visualization you can see that using constant line then the average line gives you the average value on a visualization and then uh, median with quartiles box plot and the totals we'll all be seeing these and then we'll see uh, the various kinds of models available in tableau so first of all, let's discuss the functions which are available in summarize and then we'll discuss each of these models. So without much ado, let's move to our Tableau workbook. But before moving to our Tableau workbook, let me give you a brief description of what these summarize functions do. So basically, uh, if we talk about the analytics tab, uh, Tableau provides a set of predefined functions in analytics tabs uh, for performing a few data analytics related tasks within the Tableau. So one of them is summarize. So summarize consists of a set of functions available in Tableau and that will help us in the aggregation of data. Like basically if you have got some uh, continuous variables, the major variables and you've got data points in your visualization. Now if you want to find out the uh, values corresponding to that uh, data point means the x-axis value, y-axis value or the average uh, lines, the total uh, corresponding to rows or columns that you can easily uh, obtain using this summarize function. Uh, this is quite similar uh, to the summarize we had discussed in our previous videos which were uh, on the aggregation of data. So uh, since we had already discussed these in the aggregation video, so we will not be discussing the summarize part. We will be straight away coming to the model part. Uh, if you guys want to uh, know how, I will give you one example of summarize and this then you can uh, check out the uh, other ones because they are quite similar to uh, the aggregation functions we had discussed in the aggregation video. So without much ado, let us move to my Tableau workbook and let's see uh, how to perform how to uh, perform summarization of uh, data. So over here, I have uh, uh, got this uh, summarize sheet and I would like to plot uh, uh, over here the relationship between the profit and sales and over if, here if i see i've got this one value if i would like to see it based on category so i've got these three points uh, one representing the furniture and the total profit and sales generated by this uh, category then office supplies the profit and sales uh, total generated by office supplies and the category technology the total profit and sales generated by this category now if I uh, want to check few uh, summarize uh, uh, functions on this data, I can do that. First of all, I'll, if I would like to see a constant line, if I would like to see the uh, constant line corresponding to the first observation, I'll just double click on the constant line and I'll get this line. So basically uh, this line is representing a constant line uh, means for this value I'm getting the, uh, I'm getting my uh, X axis and Y axis value since for uh, category furniture, my profit was 18451 and my sales were around 75420. So over here, if I see, uh, I'm getting these two constant lines. One constant line is cutting out the uh, profit for office supplies and this constant line is cutting out the, uh, sorry, this constant line is cutting out the, uh, my sales for office supplies and this is cutting out my profit for furniture. So basically this constant line, uh, what it does is it uh, draws a straight line uh, either vertically or horizontally at the level where you get the first observation. So if I talk about the profit axis, the first value on the profit axis uh, was this one. 
so uh, the uh, a line got projected from this point to my profit axis and when i talk about the sales axis you will see that first of all this point is coming into my sales axis and then is the this point so uh, from the first point which comes to my sales axis a line is projected over here so i am getting the values on the sales and profit axis corresponding to the first point so on the uh, profit axis if i see the first point uh, with the uh, minimum profit is this and on the sales axis the first point with the minimum sales is this one so uh, lines are projected uh, corresponding to these points on the profit and sales axis respectively so this is what a constant line function does now we'll see the function of average line but before that we'll have to remove this so i'll remove this visualization let me plot uh, profit and sales again over here profit with sales i'm plotting and now i would like to uh, have sub category uh, values over here so i'm placing it these are my sub categories now if i would like to see i'll go to the analysis tab now i would like to have the average lines so corresponding to uh, all the sub categories sales and profits what are the average lines that would be visible over here so if i talk about uh, the uh, profit axis the average profit across the sub category of products is uh, 16847 so i see a vertical line over here and if i talk about the average sales across categories uh, sub categories i see that the average uh, sales is around uh, 135 129 uh this is the average sales across the sub categories so using this average line will help me uh, draw a uh, vertical and horizontal uh, lines uh, corresponding to the average value of each of my axes so this is what uh, the average line function does similarly for others uh, you guys can work on or i would tell you one or two more because these have already uh, been covered a bit uh, in the aggregation part so i'll remove it now let me take another example let's take uh, the example of uh, sales being uh, shown corresponding to the category of products now if i go to the analytics tab i see a total option over here so when you will mouse over uh, you'll get this uh, option selected now uh, if i would like to uh, convert this into table format you can see this is my table format i would like to change it uh, uh, in this way okay now if i add uh, totals over here you will see that the grand total corresponding to uh, my values over here is appearing so this is the way you you can uh, use the totals uh, function over here in analytics tab now had you been uh, willing to add a grand total corresponding to each uh, row you could have done that as well let's see how can we do that so i'll place the sub categories over here now for each sub category uh, now this is giving you the grand total if you want to add uh, totals corresponding to the sub category uh, you can do that as well using the aggregation functions which are available so in the analysis i'll go and in the aggregate measures uh, or over here in the totals you can see that you would like to see the uh, row grand totals or column grand totals right now it's showing you row uh, column grand totals you can see the row grand totals as well so if i do that i'll get that those values since over here uh, in the row we have one value only so it's not showing now if i'll show the order date uh, field over here just let me drag and drop it again maybe it got missed so now you can see that corresponding to each row i am getting the grand totals over here and corresponding to each column i am getting the grand totals over here so this is how you use the summarize section of the analytics tab